this is uh, Maple Manifesto. <laughs> it's goofy. I mean, you look at all the all of the ingredients in your typical energy drink, energy bar, energy gel. And there's something to be said about having, uh, you know, vitamin this, that, and mineral this, that. But then if you look honestly at one ingredient, maple syrup, 100% maple syrup, it has an incredible mineral complex, a good vitamin buildup. Um, the It's low glycemic, so it's, it's going to, you know, fuel you for a proper ride. This stuff is incredible. I mean, you know, it's it's a partial throwback to my New England roots. Like that's where that's where the stuff comes from is New England. But I mean, it's it's 100% all natural, and you you know, you see more and more companies doing that, going that direction. It's maple syrup. It's, just, it's the perfect fuel. It's now, incredible. can we see you with a, a company making maple syrup bar or something like that later on? You clearly got a love for the stuff. I do have a love for it. I mean, yeah, you might see that in due time. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, my love for maple syrup comes back to when I was, you know, this tall. Um, I have really good memories of it, you know, having pancakes as a kid and, and just watching how the stuff is made. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's perfect fuel for, for any sort of endurance sport. It's incredible. All right, so but can you get it in Dubai? This is the big question. You can get everything here. Uh, have you seen it on the shelves or is it all the artificial stuff? Sure, I, I honestly have not seen it here. I've seen it. In Europe, you know, globalization, you see a, a big cash there, but, you know, you're paying for shipping fees. Um, obviously, <laughs> North America is where you're going to see the, the, the majority of it. But, yeah, globalization, I mean, look around. It's, it's mental, isn't it? What do you reckon the whole culture scene here? Is it first time here, or? This is the first. Um, honestly, I'm really enjoying it. It's a beautiful, beautiful country. I mean, you know, obviously, like, you walk around at, at dusk in this town, and you have the elevated elevated uh train here you have these um, like magnificent skyline beautiful cars going by everything's clean everything's everybody's friendly um, it's like metropolis it is it's incredible but then you know yesterday we raced or the past two days we raced out in the middle of the desert and it's a totally different scene but still spectacular i've never seen this this type of desert in real life so it's how you cope how do you cope with it crosswind sand getting in all sort of places is it tough it is but I mean, as I, I, I said yesterday, it's it's the same thing as if we were in Belgium, except you'd be freezing, yeah. and you'd have mud in your mouth instead of sand. You know, it's windy, and it's and it's crosswinds, and it's bike racing. It's a frame of mind, that's what it is. Exactly, exactly. Awesome. And okay, where can we see you after Tour of Dubai? What race you got lined up next? Uh, I'm going to Tour of Taiwan is up All next, right. which, you know, I'm excited to see a new adventure. Yeah. Uh, but then, you know, full, be beautiful. full classics campaign after that. Right, so we're uh, back to the horrible weather after that exactly. then. Exactly, the long sleeves, no sunscreen. Yeah. One last question, have you got any of the guys onto the maple syrup yet then? They love it, man. Every time we're back to our California, like IHOP is where they want to go. And we, <laughs> we ask for the real stuff, not the fake stuff. There we are, you've your pancakes for life saying that, mate. Cheers, thanks for your time. Thank you.